Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Bold and beautiful breakdown could be an accidental asterisk breakthrough asterisk for Deacon, a crazy theory about where he'll find Sheila. All products and services featured are independently chosen by editors. However, Soaps.com may receive a commission on orders placed through its retail links, and the retailer may receive certain auditable data for accounting purposes. Over the course of the week on The Bold and the Beautiful, concerns about Deacon's state of mind are going to be second only to Zen's minty hookup with Luna. In fact, by April 19, half the other characters on the show will be doing nothing but talking about how crazy the reformed scoundrel sounds, insisting that he saw ten toes on his fiancé's feet, not nine. By and by, if Deacon doesn't find Sheila, he might admit that maybe Hope and everyone else is right. Maybe he lost his marbles along with Sheila, so maybe a little time in a mental hospital might do him some good. Ironically, it could turn out to be there that he finds Sheila. Think about it. If Sugar knocked her out in order to kill Steffi and frame her nemesis for the murder, Sheila could have suffered a serious enough head injury to scramble her brain. She might even have been left thinking she's Lena, the red-headed alter ego that she created when she was hiding out in plain sight in 2022. Waking up with no ID on her and no memory of who she really is, Sheila might have been thrown in the loony bin. Sure, in real life, the authorities would have fingerprinted her and immediately discovered that she's one of the most recognizable homicidal maniacs in history. But this is bold and beautiful, a soap that didn't bother to have the coroner count the deceased's little piggies before sending her to the crematorium. It's totally plausible that this show's doctors would have shrugged and said, it's the asylum for Jane Doe. There Sheila could be having flashes of memory, terrible recollections of shooting Stephanie and Brooke and Taylor and Steffi, sicking bees on Lance, sticking her own mother's head in the oven. She might even come to the conclusion that the mental hospital is where she belongs. Enter Deacon, shocked to see the woman he loves in the recreation room. His face would be familiar, but she couldn't place it. So he vows to stay as long as it takes to bring back Sheila's memories, the good ones, not just the bad. That's nuts you say. Lemmemhem. And par for the course for the insane romance of Deacon and Sheila. In the bustling metropolis of Los Angeles, where dreams and dramas intertwine like the threads of a complex tapestry, there exists a soap opera-like quality to everyday life. Amidst the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, where stars rise and fall like the ebb and flow of the tide, there lies a tale waiting to be told, a tale of boldness, beauty, and unexpected breakthroughs. At the heart of this tale stands Deacon Sharp, a man whose life has been a series of twists and turns, much like the plot of a gripping daytime drama. Once a troubled soul with a penchant for trouble, Deacon has since undergone a transformation, a metamorphosis that has seen him rise from the ashes of his past like a phoenix reborn. But even as Deacon strives to leave behind the shadows that once haunted him, fate has a way of throwing curveballs when least expected. And it is in one such twist of fate that our story finds its beginning, a bold and beautiful breakdown that could very well lead to an accidental breakthrough for Deacon. It all begins on a crisp autumn morning, the air tinged with anticipation as the denizens of Los Angeles go about their daily lives. Deacon, now a changed man, finds himself drawn to the tranquil beauty of Griffith Park, a sanctuary amidst the chaos of the city. As he wanders the winding paths, lost in thought, he stumbles upon an unexpected sight, a woman, her beauty ethereal against the backdrop of the morning sun. Sheila Carter, a name whispered in hushed tones by those who know of her tumultuous past. Once a formidable force in the world of soap opera drama, Sheila's presence looms large over the landscape of Los Angeles, a figure both feared and revered in equal measure. But as Deacon locks eyes with Sheila, he senses something different, a vulnerability hidden beneath the facade of strength and power. And in that moment, a spark ignites, a connection forged in the crucible of shared experiences and unspoken truths. As the days turn into weeks, Deacon and Sheila find themselves drawn together by a force beyond their control, a force that defies logic and reason, weaving a tapestry of fate that neither can escape. And in the midst of their burgeoning relationship, Deacon begins to sense the stirrings of a breakthrough, an epiphany poised to shatter the barriers that have long held him captive. 
But just as Deacon dares to hope for a future filled with promise and possibility, fate intervenes once more, throwing obstacles in their path with reckless abandon. Old enemies resurface, their vendettas threatening to tear apart the fragile bond that Deacon and Sheila have fought so hard to build. Yet in the face of adversity, Deacon refuses to back down, his resolve unyielding in the face of impossible odds. And it is in this moment of defiance that he discovers the true meaning of courage, a courage born not of strength or power, but of love. For it is love that ultimately triumphs, a love that transcends the boundaries of time and space, binding Deacon and Sheila together in a bond that is as unbreakable as it is undeniable. And as they stand together, facing the challenges that lie ahead, they know that their journey is far from over, a journey filled with twists and turns, triumphs and tribulations, but above all, a journey filled with hope. For in the end, it is hope that sustains us, a beacon of light in the darkest of times, guiding us forward on our path toward a brighter tomorrow. And as Deacon and Sheila embrace the unknown that lies ahead, they do so with a newfound sense of purpose, a purpose fueled by the belief that no matter what obstacles may come their way, they will face them together, hand in hand, as they embark on the next chapter of their bold and beautiful adventure. In the serene twilight of a small town nestled among rolling hills, where the whispers of gossip dance on the breeze and secrets lurk in every shadow, there lies the tale of Deacon, a man on the precipice of destiny, teetering between chaos and clarity. It's in this quaint hamlet that our story unfolds, where the bold and beautiful collide, and where the unexpected breakthroughs often emerge from the wreckage of shattered dreams. Deacon, with his rugged charm and haunted eyes, had always been a man of mystery, his past shrouded in whispers and half-truths. Some said he was a lost soul searching for redemption, while others whispered of darker deeds that lurked in the shadows of his past. But despite the rumors that swirled around him like a cloak of intrigue, Deacon remained an enigma, his true purpose veiled behind a facade of nonchalance. As the sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows across the sleepy town, Deacon found himself drawn to the dilapidated old mansion that loomed on the outskirts like a forgotten relic of a bygone era. It was there, amidst the crumbling walls and ivy-covered facade, that he would stumble upon the key to his salvation. Inside the mansion the air was thick with the musty scent of decay, and the floorboards creaked beneath Deacon's feet as he ventured deeper into the darkness. Cobwebs clung to the corners like spectral cobras, and the faint echo of his own footsteps was the only sound that dared to pierce the silence. But just as Deacon was about to turn back, a glimmer of light caught his eye from the far end of the hallway. Intrigued, he followed the flickering glow, his heart pounding in his chest like a drumbeat of anticipation. As he drew closer, the source of the light became clear, a doorway hidden behind a tapestry that had long since faded into obscurity. With trembling hands, Deacon pushed aside the heavy fabric and stepped into the room beyond. What he found took his breath away, a treasure trove of forgotten memories, each one more precious than the last. Photographs lined the walls, capturing moments of joy and sorrow in equal measure, while dust-covered trinkets lay scattered across the floor like relics of a bygone era. But it was the figure standing in the center of the room that held Deacon's gaze, a woman, her face obscured by the shadows, yet somehow familiar in a way that he couldn't quite comprehend. It was Sheila, the woman he had once loved with all his heart, the one who had slipped through his fingers like grains of sand. As their eyes met across the expanse of time and space, a whirlwind of emotions threatened to consume them both. Regret mingled with longing, and the weight of years of separation hung heavy in the air like a shroud. But amidst the chaos of their reunion, a glimmer of hope began to emerge. A chance for redemption, a shot at a new beginning. For in that forgotten room, amidst the ruins of the past, Deacon and Sheila found the courage to confront their demons and embrace the possibility of a future together.